There was a prayer. The bulldozers rolled in. Moments later, the homes were gone. I'm very sad. They give us such short notice and now they've come in and destroyed our homes. Our children are still at school in this area. We've asked them to create a place for us, but we have nowhere to go. Next month, Pope Francis will conduct mass in this area. As many as 700,000 Timorese citizens are expected to attend. An authority says hundreds of these homes sitting on state land are in the way. They must leave this area. It is part of a protected area. They have to go back to their home villages. The evictions are just one phase of frantic preparation in the capital Dili ahead of the Pope's arrival. New roads are being built. The city is in cleanup mode. And in a country where 95% identify as a Catholic, excitement is building. I'm so happy, so happy. I'm counting down the days. People have been longing for the visit of the Pope uh, to come uh, to visit his flock, uh, a separate this flock. But on top of the evictions, there are questions over the budget. The government spending $18 million on the Pope's three days visit. This altar behind me is being proposed built for the event. In a country facing several developer challenges, not everyone thinks it's money well spent. We prefer asking that, okay, let's put more money for the health issues because um, there is a lot of demand from the poor people. A big sacrifice for a big event. Vonia Vieira, ABC News, Dili.